Shoppers will soon get a glimpse of a new grocery code of conduct. It is supposed to protect them from industry forces that drive up prices. But supermarket giant Loblaw is contending the code, as drafted, could itself inflate grocery bills even more. Jeannie Lee joins us with more. So, Jeannie, how does Loblaw make its case? Well, Andrew, with a little dose of sticker shock, uh, an estimate of how much the code will actually cost shoppers instead of uh, saving uh, them um, <clears throat> money, which is the intention of this code of conduct, which is supposed to regulate uh, relationships between suppliers and grocers so that there aren't undue costs that are uh, created and then passed along to consumers. So the CFO of Loblaw has written the committee members who are in charge of drafting this code asking for a, quote, urgent meeting to address uh, uh, Loblaw's final concerns before that draft uh, does uh, get finalized. And here is the quote from uh, Richard Dufresne, who is the CFO of Loblaw. Our central concerns revolve around the real potential for the draft code to raise food prices for Canadians by more than $1 billion and to disrupt the ability of grocers to meet consumer demand. So there is a startling figure. I uh, reached out to Loblaw to explain more of how this figure was arrived at, and I have not had a response. But the letter here um, uh, that uh, from uh, uh, Richard Dufresne to uh, the committee members does outline some of these concerns that would add to prices according to Loblaw. That the, the code as drafted is uh, too complex on some points such as having a third-party resolution process and yet too vague on others as to how retailers uh, would be able to uh, work with suppliers when the code doesn't call for written agreements according to Loblaw. So possibly all of this, according to Loblaw again, is going to create supply problems and empty shelves. So some uh, frightening uh, to some people, some scenarios that would be some uh, pretty frightening. Um, higher prices and empty shelves. Yeah, not a good combination. So what no. about the other grocery chains? Where do they stand on this? Well, as uh, vociferous as uh, Loblaw seems to be on this, so the others aren't so much. Uh, Metro and Empire have said that they will comply with whatever code is drafted. And uh, we are hearing, there, there are reports that Walmart is uh, going to speak up as well, but I haven't heard back from Walmart. And when I made the request as to what's going on with them. Uh, so, you know, there's a problem here in that right now, Canadians are pretty mad at grocery stores, aren't they? So this is coming up at a time, this issue started in 2020 on a completely different matter, uh, but now it's hitting at a time when people are just thinking that grocery stores are you know, not on their side. And so there's also the optics part of this that has to be dealt with and in terms mm -hmm. of the response from the uh, grocers. So they have to weigh that very closely as well.